Yo, <laughs> I forgot about my mic. I don't know why. Um, but here we are, CD Live. Uh, sorry about that. So, ooh, I just got a really bad Charlie horse in my leg. Um, so first off, we are going to be starting off crazy. And you know when we put out the Dark Star, stuff gets crazy. So let me take off from, first of all, the airport that I'm most familiar with, my home airport. There you go. And let's turn it to daytime because stuff in here is about to get crazy. Um, so we are going to leave it. Oh, we're going to turn it to few clouds because I like that better. Um, here we are. So this plane, if you don't know, is re it's really easy to get to go really fast and really high in this plane definitely is um so you got to check that out why is it daytime or or nighttime why is it nighttime why isn't it daytime this is what i wanted and let's actually just so we can get a more daylight experience turn it to august so I haven't been able to play this game on the live because it was through cloud gaming and you can't record on that. But here we go. Taking off in the fastest plane in the game. I'm pretty sure the Dark Star. Dark Star is in Top Gun Maverick. Goes Mach 10, which is 10 times the speed of sound. And as you can see, this is already how fast it gets up into the air. It would take a plane almost the entire runway to make it up to those speeds. Uh, so what you want to do to get really insane we're gonna start we're just gonna start off by turning so we can go southward actually so actually turn this way uh, let's turn this way and get a good speed going as well I don't know why the why the flight control thing isn't on but We're gonna go. We're gonna start off by going south. And. Okay, okay, okay. So now. Actually, we're heading southeast now. Uh, but as you can see, this is not even nearly close to how fast this plane's about to get. Um, okay. So let's start to go upward. We're gonna keep going upward until we reach till we reach about forty five to fifty thousand feet. And then that is when we are going to descend gain a whole bunch of speed, and then go even further up, this is going to be crazy, so, actually we can even, this is going to tank our speed, but, uh, let me turn this to clear skies, just so you can get a sense for how high we are going to be going, <laughs> so, there is the Chesapeake Bay, this body of water on the side. Uh, I would know because I because I live here. But um, there's the Chesapeake Bay. There's the eastern shore of Maryland and into Delaware. I'm going up here. So this plane can climb extremely quickly. Getting to 50,000 feet will not be difficult, especially on the second try if we do this right. Um, like I said, holy crap, this game looks good, and man, I cannot wait to play this on the main channel. Um, so we're about halfway to where we need to be. As you can see, if you see at the very, very top of your screen that body of water that is the Delaware River, and that is actually Cape May, New Jersey. 
so already at 30,000 feet you can see New Jersey and we are somewhere I would guess above Northern Virginia Now we're moving up. We are almost there. Don't pay attention to this airspeed here. Just pay attention to the TAS under it, um, which says 468 knots as of now. Um, so we are doing pretty good. And then we, once we get to about 50,000 feet, we will, we will take this plane. As you can see, we are so high up. You can, if you know, if you know the shape of Maryland. You can, you can literally see the shape of Maryland, Delaware, and part of New Jersey as well, just by going down here. So, we're actually going a little bit, we're actually pitching up a little bit too much. Now that we're about 48,000 feet, I think we can get a bit higher, maybe. Oh yeah, the the other live just posted as I'm recording this. So now we're about 50,000 feet. We are going to go down full throttle. That is going to what the heck? That's not supposed to happen. But anyway, that's going to push us into about Mach, even though this isn't here. Even though this thing isn't on and I don't know how to turn it on. It's usually always on, but... We're going to get this plane... Up to a certain point. Shoot. may need to slow the plane down or speed it up because once it gets past a certain speed it's gonna be very hard to pitch it down and especially pitch it up which in this case scenario is kind of bad I don't know where we are I think we're somewhere over Northern Virginia like I just said that's Calvert Beach so yeah Let's just gain a tiny bit more speed here. And try and pull up. Now, as you can see, you can already see how fast we're going. Um, the speed's in knots, but that's almost, it's very similar to miles an hour. So now, now the climb up is going to be extremely easy, and as you can see, it'll reach 50,000 feet extremely easy, and you will see just how high this plane can get. Um, the height limit is 275,000 feet. That should tell you how high this thing can get. Um, so as you can see, even though the airspeed's going down, the true airspeed is actually going up we are at 58 60,000 feet now 63 it's going up so fast you can barely tell look at this look at this 87,000 feet now you now if you know the shape of Maryland well, if you didn't before, now you do. That's New Jersey on your top of the screen where that little nub is. Delaware, Maryland. Um, you can see Pennsylvania from here then. Um, this also means you can see West Virginia, Virginia. Um, so you can see a good, like, like at least, at least six states from here. <laughs> we are 130,000 feet up, and that is not the fast, and that is not the highest we'll be going. So this, yeah, this is definitely Virginia. That we're over now. We get so high at some point that the camera like forgets how to camera. There we go. 3.59 Mach. It's crazy, honestly. We are still going up as far as speed. 180,000 180, feet, yeah. 
as you can see look at the map on the right the vfr map of how fast these landmarks are going by um i've been able to get this thing i think up to 4.4 mach which is 4.4 times the speed of sound i think this is virginia beach that we're heading up on now i think let me let me like get out and let me like get out google earth for this because i do not know geography beyond my own state well well it's kind of hard to tell when the state's freaking huge i can't tell i think this is virginia beach i'm n if if i'm not mistaken we are right over virginia beach yes that is virginia beach that we are over actually we are so high now we sh we're basically crossing over into north carolina as you can see we've already hit uh 275,000 feet which is the limit so actually down here we are basically directly over north carolina this is north carolina up here virginia right there maryland back there look at that that's something most people probably have never seen before microsoft flight simulator is the entire state of maryland and you can see New Jersey on the top right, Delaware. Um, Delaware, of course, is encompassed within Maryland. I have done this flight. I did one flight from New York to Florida. I think it was New York to Orlando, and it only took me like 20 minutes. It only took me like 20 minutes on a flight that, if you did it in real life, would take you probably about three hours two and a half hours and three hours i did it in 20 minutes like literally you're seeing the entire u.s and i'm trying to turn over look at that look at that that's views only astronauts have seen that's how impressive that's also how huge the world is you are 275,000 feet up that is how huge the world is so yeah we are definitely over north carolina now and you can totally tell by the fact that the world curves in because if you haven't seen the u.s the the u.s does curve in at north carolina that's why if you're going south on a flight to florida from the east coast you will be over water about half the time um because that's how geography works And pretty much the only way to get back down to the ground from here is to purposeful is to shut all the engines off and it will eventually fall back down. This is absolutely like man, this is crazy. The entire like entire states like you can see half of the US from here. If I could fully move the camera, you would be able to see half the country from up here it's it's honestly crazy honestly really really crazy so yeah you can see pretty much everything honestly one thing i do want to try though that's going to tank the plane oh god um oh goodness oh goodness oh I just wanted to turn the time to night because I want to see what it looks like. I just wanted to see what it does. It's going to be extremely dark and I'm sorry about that. Also I can't see anything. Okay so yeah it just looks normal but we're going to get – go back to the main menu. And – we're going to try out some tamer planes. Um, I want to do two more things during this. Give you a tour of a, like a city or something in a normal plane. So we can actually go for JFK International. Go for Kennedy. I'll figure out the time when I get there. Um, a320 and just to avoid any controversy i'm gonna choose a not american airlines plane so actually i'm gonna choose the most cursed thing i found in this pack a southwest airlines a320 any avgeek would know how uh 
I'm actually West Jet too. Any air, anybody that's been in there would know how uh, how crazy that really is, because they only fly 737s. But I also saw an Easy Jet 737 in uh, one of the other packs too. Here we go. Yeah, so this game is absolutely beautiful. Um, so. That's fun. Yeah, guys, I got kicked out of the game. That happens a lot. Um, that happened on Xbox a lot, too. This game is no joke. This game is 140 gigabytes. So, um, yeah. That makes for a heck of a thumbnail, or a heck of a video, to get kicked out in the middle of your... Wow. Great. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome to be kicked out Okay, that's great. And this game takes a while to load in. So, um, what I was going to do was fly at A320 around New York. Or actually, maybe I should fly it around another city since I haven't actually gotten the... Since I haven't gotten the USA pack yet. I don't know. We're gonna figure this out. I'm sorry about that, man. It just kicked me out. <laughs> that really only happens when I go to Dallas. That, that's when the game kicks me out. It's when I go to Dallas. That, that's when the game says I had enough. <laughs> so actually, let's go to Sky Harbor, I guess. We can go to Sky Harbor in... Uh, in clear skies and see how that works whoops no 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 this way turn the time that way and let's hope that we don't get kicked out again I really haven't gotten kicked out at Sky Harbor that much I think that I honestly think that this game could not handle a Southwest a320 <laughs> because that is that is illegal this game could not handle the southwest a320 Ooh, and we got it like a sunrise sunset so beautiful plane although this looks really really stupid to some people to to some people this looks like a just a regular southwest airplane to others this is absolutely nightmare fuel and <laughs> i'm sorry about it but at least this means I'll probably buy the E-190 before the 737. I was I was wondering if I was going to buy the E-190 or the 737, and I think I decided now. Thank you, uh, four simmers. I'm pretty sure these were the guys that made the pack. So, I can rotate out of here. This plane is, like, the best plane to fly if you're a beginner. Don't start with the 747. Do not start with the A320. The A320 is by far the easiest jet airliner to fly in this game. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the USA pack, so or I don't have it installed yet. So uh, bear with me here. The cities kind of look a little bit off. 
This looks super weird. It looks like right, but it looks weird. This is a feature where Boeing does not make the 7. I'm kidding. But um, I'm pretty sure that is... I don't know what Arizona team... What... What what's the MLB team for the air in Arizona? It's because I know that's not State Farm Stadium. State Farm Stadium's in Glendale. There's I think the Arizona Coyotes down there next to whatever the frick the baseball team is called. I don't watch baseball, but at least I do watch basketball. What if the baseball team's called the Coyotes and I'm what what if? Yeah, what if the baseball team is called the Coyotes and I just messed that up? And also, uh, rip to everyone in the cabin because I am not only going really fast based on the overspeed, overspeed, but also that my plane is basically sideways. Rip to every single person in that cabin. I would hate that. I am a nervous flyer. I would hate that. But I do love the concept of flying and this game. It's really good. So as you can see, it is it is nearly impossible to crash this plane unless you like do this with the rudders. Then then it's pretty easy to crash. Like like that is that is the easiest way to cause a crash in this game. Or you just fly or you just fly any other plane. But man, this is cursed. I I can't with the Southwest A320. Okay, so you can see beautiful views for any of you guys that have flown into or out of Phoenix um, or pretty much anywhere in the West. So Las Vegas, McCarran, and Sedona as well. Um, but you guys are getting some uh, nostalgia and I. this is why they turn it down to 70% throttle. Why is it going up? I just... <sighs> the heck? Okay. We. Okay, now the engine power is going down. Now that I put it all the way back up. That... That's wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, that's... But yeah, as you can see, pretty cool. And also, if you don't turn the thing where the game ends when you crash, crashes are pretty funny. Hunger Haciendas. Isn't a Hacienda a nap? Isn't that what that is in Spanish? I, I don't know Spanish that well. But I'm pretty sure Hacienda is like a nap or break or something. I think. It's either something having to do with sleeping or eating. Resting or eating. One of the two. Has to be. Or hangar haciendas. So yeah, that might be a rest. That might be a rest place. Okay. But we are going to uh, simulate dying here. Over uh, Sunset Phoenix. If only there was a flat place with no houses to land. But no, this is um, Arizona, so we don't have that. We only have heat. We only have heat stroke. I'm kidding. I don't live in Arizona. Well, they only have heat stroke. I want to figure out how to get back into the uh, the cabin views, but I can't remember how to do it, and I don't feel like looking up those controls again. So yeah, if you don't have that, it looks really goofy, like that. And it almost always ends up with the plane landing upside down somehow. Except that time. Rip to, rip to the guys in that house trying to sleep. Because you got two plane engines right there. <laughs> and this guy too. He's got a wing clipped in his house. Bro. <laughs> Ain't no way. Okay, let's, let's go to the main menu and get to the best part. The most thrilling part. The most exciting part. Which it, ooh, which is the F-18 in Lugano, which is in the Italian Alps. Here, it is an airport in the Italian Alps. It's somewhere over here. That is not it. 
Lugano. Nope. Wait. Yeah. I did get Lugano. The F-18 can take off from that airport. It is beautiful airport. We're just going to fix those controls or those time settings and cloud settings when we get in the game. Here we go. I do it. Cause that would be an amazing clip. Uh oh. No one sees. I'm probably gonna make a public Discord server eventually. Okay. There we go. So let's just turn it to clear skies and then turn it to daytime actually let's go back to august so you have more daytime <coughs> now you can see the true beauty of this place in the italian swiss alps um, yo this plane can take off from surprisingly short runways and be fine, but it's because of its very quick acceleration. Same with the Dark Star too, technically. I bet the Dark Star could also take off from this runway, especially since it accelerates even faster. This is one of the hardest planes to control when taking off, that is for sure. But, but, but using this plane in the Alps like or using this plane in the mountains like they do in Top Gun is one of the funnest things to do. One of my favorite things is doing this. Here we go. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. That's the easy... That is the most complicated way to gain 7,000 feet of altitude. But it is the best way to gain 7,000 feet of altitude. Oh, great. Luckily, this plane can pitch up pretty easily. So this is where the bit rate will look the worst. Oh, God. Oh! Oh! Okay. I'm pretty sure, actually, my Twitch stream is running smoother than the game itself. I don't understand how that's possible. Twitch stream actually looks like it's running at a smooth 60 frames per second. Whee! Look at that, man. Now somebody, now somebody take an edit of this and put a highway to the danger zone over the... My goodness. There's one thing that you should do in this game, it is this. Especially since the F-18 is free, so do it. Twelve thousand feet, man. Wee and you can spin it. Now I'm actually going to pull up. Okay. This is absolutely crazy. Whee! Right over the map. Right over the map. Back upside down. Just like Top Gun. The thing is... The best thing is if you can get as close to the ground or to dying as possible without actually messing up and it's fine to do this because it's a game and you can't die in real life like that water is surprisingly closer than you think it's like 600 feet up so the altitude meters on the right by the way that's the one that says about a thousand one hundred That was risky. 
That was risky. Oh, dang it, I hit something. Ah, oh, come on, man. I was doing so well. This mountain's actually kind of cool right here. There's a town right here, too. This is a place that I might want to visit in the future. The Italian and Swiss Alps, they just look so cool. go. Wait, can you do this? Hold on, I'm trying something. I'm trying something. That? Is that Ohio? I can't tell what it says and I'm trying to do the thing that I did before, but like, oh no, that's not Ohio. I think that's O'Neo. Oh no. Okay. That gained me twenty thousand feet, bro. Here we go. Now let's go back down. Whee! That's probably the riskiest move. Now I think about it. Although this plane can pull up surprisingly fast. My goodness, man. Look at that. And then just to do something like this. Right there, just look at how close I was to that mountain. Ooh. Yo, I'm good at this. I'm too good. I'm too good. I am too good at this game. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have turned up the audio that much. My uh, headphones. Here we go, here we go. It's of course the part that I spent the most on, but it's... But I love it. Oh, there's an airport right here. I'm gonna attempt to see if I can land there. Okay. It's a fairly long airport. I just need to become extremely lucky. Yeah, I just need to get really lucky. No, no, no. Not like that. Let's bring my flaps down, too. And, oh, oh, God. Okay. I might have single-handedly <laughs> ended that. That wasn't me doing that. That was the plane. That, w that literally was not me. I'm going to attempt to land, even though I'm really bad at landing planes. <laughs> okay. 
There's a... Oh, God. Oh, God. This is gonna go horribly. Coming in way too fast. Whoa, woof, woof. That's... I guess that's one way to land. I guess. The parking brake on. That That's one way to land. In the Italian Alps. I don't know. Let me see if I can find something else. Because technically part of this video has been shaved away. Thanks to the stupid game crashing. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, a whole bunch of videos have been posted to CV Live. We have now three videos on CD Live. Um, here we go. So what's another thing I can do? Not the helicopter. I kind of hate the helicopters in this game. I have trust issues from that. I could do like the world's slowest and worst plane. Or even the stunt plane. I think I'm gonna do the stunt plane. So let's just go to Philadelphia. Actually, since we never did go to it, Kennedy. Let's go to Kennedy. Since we never technically did that, we can go around it in a stunt plane and let's do my favorite livery on that. Which is that one. Actually, let's try the Windows 11 livery. I haven't done that one yet. Um, let's change it away from Broken Clouds. I don't know why it keeps going to that. I want Scattered. I mean, Few. Frick. Okay, now that we're here, sorry, I was looking at something else. This stunt plane is kind of crazy because actually, it actually is more sensitive controls than the than the uh, fighter jet has somehow. It also has no way of gear up, I think. Yeah. So let's go on this beautiful sunset that they gave us, I think. Oh, it's going to take a long time to get to New York. I just realized that, but... Yeah. I'm going to hold left for one second. One. There you go. That's how sensitive that is. Oh my god, it's even more sensitive in pitch. Look at that. What have I done? What have I done? Oh my god. I'm about to crash the plane. Oh! <laughs> what have I done? You know what? Let's go back to main menu and get to New York in a... In a also equally as sensitive but a lot faster plane. One they just gave us for the 40th anniversary actually. The Airbus... A310, I think it is? I'm not mistaken, it's the Airbus A310. Right? Yeah, the A310-300. This plane is actually surprisingly... Uh, it is surprisingly really sensitive. Um, don't ask me why. Stop it. Stop giving me broken clouds every time. Few. Few clouds. Few clouds, no clouds. Not broken. I don't want broken. It's stupid. Nobody wants broken. Nobody wants anything broken. <laughs> but as you can see, if you have an Xbox Series S or X, highly recommend getting the game. Especially if you Game Pass because it's free. It still takes up a lot of your storage. Oh, now it's put us at night time.
so we're actually here in Fortnite now because um, the game said no. The game said no. It just quit on me again because the game's 140 gigabytes. So I'm actually we're gonna end this video right now. Uh, that's CD Live. We'll see you later. I guess you'll see the A310 in the new video, Crimson Defender. Check out January 2nd or 3rd. That's probably when the video is going to come out. We'll see you later.